guys, welcome back to the Mary Boozers RC channel. Today we're talking the S150 Smart Charger from Spectrum. This is a great option for guys that have a ready to fly Habu or like the ready to fly Carbon Cub or any of the ready to fly models from Horizon Hobby that come with the S120. This is a great little charger, but it's kind of limited and you can only do 3S LiPo. So if you've got a Habu and you want to fly 4S, your next option to go up to is an S150. The nice thing is the S150 is available in several different options that come with an extra battery. So you'll get your battery and your charger. This is available by itself also for guys that are just looking for a nice 50 watt uh, charger on its own. Um, this one can do 2S to 4S LiPos and it can do nickel metal hydride, life, uh, and I can't remember the other one. Oh, lithium, <laughs> the ones that we're gonna charge today. So. Without further ado, we're gonna get down on the table, take a look at this. It's a fantastic little charger that's super easy to use, but like I said, it's a great next step. So let's get down on the table and show you how to charge something with this thing. All right, guys, so here we are at the S150 Smart Charger. As you can see, there's really not a lot to it. I got it all plugged in right now, and you've got one button on the front. So if you quick push the button, you select through the different amperages right here on the charger. If you hold it, you switch between the different battery types. LiPo, Life, Nickel Metal Hydride. I don't even know what that one is because I've never used it before. <laughs> but that's how you do it. We're gonna put ours on LiPo. That's what we're gonna be charging today. And like I said, you can select your amperage. So the nice thing about the S150 over the S120 is where with the 120, you can only charge smart batteries. Whereas on the S150, you can charge any 2S to 4S LiPo that's over 200 milliamps. So you just plug it in if you have an adapter, whatever. Now, the nice thing is this is a smart charger. So if we take our 2200 3S LiPo, we can mess this all up. Let's, let's go on and put it on nickel metal hydride and let's put this thing at like one amp. That way it's nice and messed up. But this is a LiPo that is a smart LiPo. So when I plug it in, the charger should auto select the correct settings. And it did. So now the charger has selected LiPo. It's charging at one amp, which I think we could go on and make that higher. We can. I'm gonna charge this at three amps. On the front of all your smart batteries, there's actually a label right here that says max charge rating 3C or 6.6 .6 amps on this 2200. So I could actually set this to five if I wanted to and just let it rip. I like to do mine about 1C, which would be 2.2 amps on this one, so 3 is fine. But anyway, it's off to charging now. As you can see, it's going to just blink until it's at full. And we're going to let this thing go until it finishes. So, see y'all back in a second. All right, so the S150 charger has now finished completing its charge of this 2200 LiPo. You can tell because the charger will start to beep at you. I just missed it as it did it off camera. It will beep again momentarily though. Uh, also, all of your little lights down the middle are solid now and not flashing. It will blink on its way up. There's the beep as I was talking about. So in order to dis or unplug the battery from the charger, you just simply unplug it tight like so. And this charged battery is ready to go fly. You can always plug it in on your smart checker just to make sure. There it is. It shows 100%, 4.2 across the board, and ready to go fly. Now, just to show you how to set this up, if you have a regular battery and not a smart battery, like I said, this will work. So you can plug your battery in. like so, backwards, like so. Now, you've got your amperage on this side and the type of battery on this side. If you long hold, 
you select through the different ones. So we want to go to LiPo. One more. You can see I have it on LiPo now. This is a 1300 milliamp LiPo battery. So we'd really want to charge this at about one amp. So I'm going to go down to one amp. And now you're going to double tap to start this. And there it goes. The blinking light means that it's charging. If you can see that. There you go. The blinking light on the charger means that it started. If I wanted to stop it, I just tap it one more time and that stops it. All right, so not all batteries are gonna have the EC3 or IC3 connection on it. So something you might think about getting, especially if you already have an existing charger, is one of these banana clip adapters. So you can plug this into your charger and then you have the two banana clips. So if you have any old chargers that have this style of plug on them, you can easily plug that in, plug that in, and now I can charge XT60s off of here or whatever I wanted to as long as it was this. Now don't forget, don't overload your charger here. You can only do 4S and 3S LiPo batteries with this. But that is a way that you can charge some other types of batteries on here. Uh, so that's kind of the wrap up of this one. It's a pretty easy charger, guys. So we'll step back out and tell you our final thoughts. So there you go, guys, the S150 Smart Charger. A very inexpensive way to get a little bit more chargers on the bench. It's always nice to be able to charge multiple batteries. And these are under 50 bucks. Uh, link will be down in the description. We are a Horizon affiliate. So if you do decide to get one of these after seeing today's video, get it through that link down in the description. We get a little bit of commission on it. It lets Horizon know you came because of us. Um, it's a great little charger. If you're doing 3S, 4S, 2S LiPos, It'll do them all, and you will have a wonderful time being able to charge more than one battery at once. So, without further ado, get out there and fly with your friends, and we will see you in the next episode of The Merry Boozers.